Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how are you all doing? Dave, welcome to you on the David Morgan Life channel. Going through the safe and doing some cleanup and digging around the room and found some old stuff that haven't been out of the safe for a while. Sometimes, sorry, it's got to you know, jump off and take a look at what you have. Kind of go through stuff. Springfield Armory, M1A1. Um, I call it a sporter bottle because, you know, it's my old bear gun and just backpack again. to make. I could have cry chopped it, but I'm just not that good. Empty chamber, empty gun. Oops. Here we are. See? It's not that good. Anyways, 308. Beautiful balance gun. Um, could make them walnut, of course, military designation would have that keyway right in here. I think it's a cut out little key turn, it's like a little, little block. And that's your M14 for full auto fire, but these barrels are not really easily changeable, so it seems like a lot of people just use them as semi auto. It's got a, you just clean out here your plug. It's very, very, really solid little gun, or big gun maybe. Kind of has a feel of something from. World War II derivative of the M1 Grand M2 carbines have a similar uh, action here. So does the Ruger branch rifle and Ruger May 14s. May 14 because it's like the nature of this thing. Anyways, that's why I don't, that's why I typically stick with shorties. I don't want to bang and stuff around, you know? And the other thing I found this safe was this my old Rock River. Um, Oh, wow. Official cult magazine. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. The mag chamber. Let's get some, uh, some tape residue from probably a flashlight or something in here. It's got kind of a cool hammer in here. It does not have, so it does have a heavier buffer. Um, this little hammer appears to all be from the factory. Kind of light, pretty fast shooting one down. It's got a rather unique build in there for the trigger. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is a Rock River Arms. Um, I remember something about the DEA really liking these things. Ew, that's nasty. Gotta clean that off there. Um, this is actually a heavy barrel all the way through. It doesn't have the reduce, reduction, so shouldn't have the overheat problems. And I really like the setup here. It is an A3 model with a flat top, but this riser here is actually a Rock River product. And I like it because it retains your iron sights. Position right there. It maintains your iron sights, but it allows you to hit it out here. Or, of course, you can just lose the whole thing for trade covers over here, but um, you do have the front sight. But and there it is. Really comfortable little gun. I mean, but the overall feel of it is pretty good. Well, you know, used to tell us to it this way, but I prefer to bring it up to second position that things feel like it out a little bit you know, for me. Right there. Yep, perfect. For me. But everybody's got their own preferences. But just dig some stuff out of the old safe and let you guys see it. No tea markings here. But not the end of the world I guess. Anyways, I appreciate the views out there and the great community. Sometimes I'm a little bit late answering questions on this channel because I don't check it as often as I do my main one, but it's still pretty cool though. Anyways, y'all take care. Be safe out there. Until next time, ciao.